Hey Mike, how you going? So we've come back down to our local ARB store, Union Car Spares, as this week we're fitting a new power management system to our 70 series. We're a little bit early, but Red Arc should be here any minute, so let's see what they have in store for us. Let me introduce Greg from Red Arc, and um, Greg, we've been talking for a while, and uh, we've been sitting down and kind of working out what we require. What have you got for us today? Yeah, so after speaking uh, with you, Lars, about the, you know, what your requirements are, we kind of w worked out um, you know, how much power you're going to be using, where you're going to be wanting to use it, um, and how long are you going to be wanting to, I guess, use the system off-grid without connecting up to power. So really encompassing all of that into one product is our Manager 30. So this is kind of the, I guess you'd say the brains and the, uh, you know, it, it controls the whole battery charging and battery management. As you were mentioning, um, building a, a management system, you have to really start at the foundations. Yeah, that's right. So you've got to have a, basically if you think of your battery as your, your storage area, it's like the fuel tank for the system. Um, you've got to have a really good battery uh, to make sure that you're going to get consistent power, that it's going to last and that, you know, you do spend good money on batteries, um, even, you know, AGMs gel batteries, any deep cycle battery is, is quite an investment. Um, the Revolution Power Lithium battery um, is pretty much the best battery you can get. It's probably a quarter of the weight of the equivalent lead acid battery, um, which is something that you really do need to consider. Yeah. It's something I found when I, I first saw the battery and, and picked it up. The thing only weighs 16 kilos. That's right. And I mean, and for our point of view, we were doing the overlanding and we have so much gear in the truck, that weight saving with the batteries and, and gaining that huge amount of amp hours at the same time. It's that, just fantastic for That's us. exactly it. Like I've got a, a setup where I've got the equivalent um, capacity or storage size and it's 70 kilos worth of batteries, which is huge. It's like, you know, car carting around another person. That's right. You need to upgrade your suspension just to, just to, to carry the batteries. batteries. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. I'm um, yeah. talking to, to the guys at Q Marine um, who are supplying us with a battery. They were mentioning that the Revolution battery as it has its own management system in bolt of cutouts? That's right, yeah. So there is a, a bit of, um, there is a few uh, misconceptions about lithium batteries in the market. So with lith lithium iron phosphate batteries, which is what we're dealing with, and with the revolution power batteries, they actually have their own battery management system built in to make sure that those cells are balanced and they're looked after um, and they're actually incredibly safe. They're so safe, in fact, that you can actually short out the two terminals like you know you might drop a wrench on the battery terminals and if anyone in a workshop's ever done that you know the sparks that'll fly um, with a revolution power lithium battery you can short out those terminals and the battery is that smart it will actually turn itself off so they're yeah they're incredibly safe um, and they're because they're lithium ion phosphate as opposed to lithium cobalt or lithium polymer there there's no chance of them actually blowing up and obviously charging them with a Manager 30 or with one of our BCDC D series that has the lithium profile built in, you're getting the absolute maximum lifespan out of the batteries and you're going to get the absolute maximum charge, which means that you're going to be able to run your equipment for you know the maximum amount of time possible. So they really do have huge advantages over the traditional kind of old school battery technology. And I think one other thing that was worth mentioning is um, the lifespan of the battery. So you're going to get a lot longer out of your yeah, AGM battery. Yeah, the so that's exactly right. I mean, you can, depending on how you treat an AGM battery, you could get 80 to maybe 500 um, cycles down to 50% state of charge. Whereas with a, lithi a revolution power lithium battery, you can get up to 5,000, which is a huge advantage. But obviously you do need to look after those lithium batteries properly, which is where the, the whole uh, Red Arc uh, lithium battery profile, charge profile comes into it these charges will guarantee that we'll get them up to 100% state of charge. Okay. Um, and that's quite important too, because generally when you consider that a deep cycle battery, you can't really take it under 50%. If your alternator is only ever charging it to 70%, that extra 30% that we can give you is huge. So, yeah. Okay. And I see you've got a solar blanket down here as well. Yeah. Can you tell us uh, more about yeah, that? So with these solar blankets, um, they obviously are quite a bit different to a normal monocrystalline solar panel. Your standard traditional solar panel is solid. It's got to be mounted somewhere permanently. Um, we've really designed these solar blankets for the touring market and for the camping market. So what you do is you can see the size of it is it's very compact. It folds out. It's a 190 watt blanket, which is huge. So basically what you do is when you get to your campsite, you park up, you plug this in uh, via an Anderson connector, which it comes with a, um, an Anderson lead as well. You throw it on the bonnet or on the ground, um, and it's a very durable solar panel, which, again, you fold up. It doesn't take up much room. 
and you can continue on with your, your traveling. So I'm really excited about running this product this season for a few reasons is that with the, with the solar power we can park up for a few days and I don't have that battery anxiety. I'm not constantly thinking about our, our power management. We run a lot of gear up on the roof in a rooftop tent and just we don't have the room to mount a, a fixed mounted solar panel. And going through tight scrub and, and bushing and things like that, there's just that risk of scuffing up a solar panel that's been mounted. So with this, we can pop this into the back of the truck and roll it out when we need it. When we're moving, we're charging it with the car, so um, we're still getting that charge all the time. That's right. It means that you can park up and you've still got the benefits of a solar panel, but it's completely portable. You can tuck it away uh, and it means that you can stay on site if you find a, no a nice location almost indefinitely because of the power of that panel. It's, um, 190 watts you can get um, about 12 amps continuous uh, on you know on a good sunny day which is huge out of a solar panel well there you have it it's all done i've managed to have a bit of a look and it looks absolutely fantastic but greg you've been here supervising at uh, union car spares and um do you just want to walk us through and let's have a bit of a look of exactly what you've done yeah most definitely so this unit here is the charger assembly of the manager 30 so this is basically the main brains the part that does all of the uh you know takes the power from the three different sources, mains on this end, and then you've got your alternator and your solar inputs on this end, and then basically takes that power and puts it into the battery. Um, from there, we've also got connected a, a display unit, which is sitting up on the dashboard, just up the front. And inside this box is where our revolution power battery and also our battery sensor and all the fusing and so on is. Um, so from the battery, we then have our 1000, 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter which is basically taking our DC battery power and turning it into 240 volt mains power. So the same kind of power you'd get out of your wall socket, which is why we've installed these two 240 volt sockets uh, just in the centre here, uh, so that Lars can plug in his camera gear and uh, when they're out touring, get to keep everything charged up. So inside the cabinet here, we've got our Revolution Power uh, 100, 100 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, it's completely sealed, so you can mount it on its side, you can mount it upside down if you really want to. Um, it's a very, very safe battery in terms of, if anything, if the, bat you know, the battery gets uh, too high a voltage or a short onto it, it will actually turn itself off internally. Uh, it has an internal battery management system and cell management system inside it. Um, we've also got our shunt, which is sitting in here, which is a 300 amp continuous rated shunt which means that uh, we can, basically the Manager 30 can look at all the power that's being drawn off it uh, and put into the battery and that's how it can work out and tell us how much time we've got left and obviously also, you know, how much, what a percentage state of charge that we have left in the battery. So you always know what's going on with your battery all the time. Um, and from there, we've got our different fuses uh, for the inverter and all the different uh, systems that Lars is going to be wiring in, like the fridge and the lighting and everything else. Aside from fitting this Red Arc BMS system into our truck, we've also gone ahead and fitted three of these Red Arc 52mm gauges. Now we've got our oil pressure gauge, dual temperature gauge measuring transmission temp and coolant temperature, and we've also gone ahead and fitted an external temperature sensor to that one. And then we've got the boost and the all-important EGT gauge. Now there's 13 different backlights to choose from. We've gone ahead and selected the green one just to match the rest of the dash of the truck. You would have noticed that oil pressure gauge going into alarm and turning red. That's a feature that I really, really like about these Red Arc gauges, is they're completely customizable, and you, get, you can actually set alarms and two different backlight colors between orange and red. So if my temperatures start spiking, the gauges is actually going to alarm and give me a bit of a warning for that. So I can actually focus on the road and um, not having to monitor my gauges all the time. Now there's a whole bunch of different gauges to choose from. If you pick up the catalog, there's literally a gauge for every application with voltages, pressures, temperatures, you name it. Red Arc has got a little gauge for it. So Greg, this is obviously a pretty complex management system. Yes. And it doesn't suit the needs of everyone. Um, the BCDC charger is a pretty good alternative if you don't need this, this kind of substantial setup. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the Manager 30 is kind of everything you'd, everything you'd ever need in a management system. And you're right, you're, if you're only going uh, you know, off-road and you're never going to be pulling into a caravan park or wanting to charge from mains, you don't have to go with this full system. I mean, obviously the advantage of the manager is you get your display and everything else, but if you're setting up a vehicle or a caravan, camper van, purely just for touring, um, the BCDC is a really good alternative. You're still gonna get the same amount of charge into your batteries. Um, it's gonna charge them up to 100% state of charge. 
We've got the four different profiles built into it, so that you're different uh, depending on your battery chemistry. So this charger will charge all different types of lead acid and obviously the lithium ion phosphate batteries. Um, and it basically it'll charge from solar, it'll charge from your alternator, and it's actually a very, very smart charger because it's uh, it periodically stops charging for a split second, analyzes what's happening with the battery, and makes sure it's in the right charging mode. So it means that you're never going to overcharge your batteries, which is obviously going to shorten their lifespan, and it will never undercharge them, which obviously equates to you not getting basically value for money out of your batteries. So it really is worth its weight in gold. Uh, and the build quality of it as well is something that I'd like to touch on with you. Um, inside of the actual case of the BCDC, it's filled with a silicon elastomer. So that means you can install it in wet areas, you can install it under the bonnet. It means that uh, heat, dust, uh, moisture, and also vibration, don't worry it. It really is built for uh, some very extreme conditions. Yeah, I mean, in Australia, where this, these products are built, it's, it really is the harshest conditions out in the desert. That's right. Know? And if you push for space or you're worried about it, you know, this can be put in under the bonnet um, and, and kind of tucked away out of, out of the way there. Yeah, that's right. We, there's basically three different models. We've got a 20 amp, a 25 amp, and a uh, 40 amp as well. So like you said, Lars, very, very small compact units. Um, and built for Australian conditions. So if they're going to work in Australia, you've got no, uh, no doubt that they're going to work in New Zealand. So what do you think of that, Greg? Oh, mate, I think you're going to be uh, just absolutely no problems at all now. You're going to be able to monitor your oil pressure, your trans temperature, your water temperature, outside temperature, EGT and boost. So you'll have no excuse for blowing it up now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're really looking forward to seeing the stuff really working for us out where we're going. Definitely. Um, charging all our equipment is really going to change the way we, we film and, and yep. operate. So thanks a lot. No problem. It's awesome. It's been welcome. good to have you. And yep. um, thanks to Red Arc, uh, Q Marine and Revolution Power Australia. And yep. um, of course Union Car Spares um, for giving us the workshop. Definitely. Thanks, mate. All good.